standard 6 maths first chapter basic concepts in geometry now all the basic concepts of geometry are going to be covered in this lessons so let's start the first thing is points now what are points these are points got it these points are known as point P point A point T the second thing is line segment now what are line segments and lines line segments and lines line segments are the segments that are drawn from a specific point to a specific specific point suppose A and B segment A and B is a line segment got it when we have a two specific point from where it starts and where it ends starting and ending point is been given that line is known as segment got it segment AB when a line is drawn in this way and arrows have been denoted what does this arrows means that this line can be extended got it these arrows denote that these lines can be extended therefore a and b is supposed to be a line a b this is line got it got the difference between the two now the second is ray now what does a ray means ray is a combination of a segment and a line when the line starts from a point and it keeps on extending with an arrow such line is said to be a ray ray a b it starts from a and it keeps on extending and is denoted by an arrow such line is known as ray a b got it now an infinite line infinite number of lines can be drawn from a point suppose this is a point and we can draw infinite lines infinite means number of lines uncountable lines from this point got it now this point is known to be the point of congruence got it when number of lines have been drawn from a point those points are said to be point of congruence got it now the second thing is parallel lines now what are parallel lines the lines which never intersect each other are known as parallel lines so when these lines are being extended you will see that they will go straight in this direction they will not intersect they will not intersect as such in this way they are going to go in straight line such lines are known as parallel lines now we will move on towards the exercise we will see the exercise this is the exercise so the first question is collinear points collinear points means from a center point from which a line is drawn so you will see which line has been drawn line m o t and r o n they are passing through one same point this is the point of congruence and these two lines are crossing them so you have to write collinear points that is point m point o and point t you can write it in short form you can write it in full form and the second pair is point r point o and point n got it now the second question is rays you have to write the rays so what are the rays well the start point is there and at the ending there is an arrow such figure is known as ray so how many rays are there you will see ray ot ray om ro, ray or ray os ray on ray op got it all these are 
rays. You have to write in this way. I will just write one and show you. Ray O T. Got it? From the figure you have to choose and write. Then what are line segments? Line segments means line segment. What are line segments? Both are having a start point and an end point is supposed to be a line segment. So in this figure you will see you are having line seg segment MT, RN, segment OS, segment ON, segment OP. Got it? Now what are lines? Lines means as I said lines are, is a line which is denoted by arrow. In both the sides they are having arrows. So only two lines are there that is line MT and line RN. For line segment you have to write segment. For lines you have to write line. Got it? Now write the different names of the line. You have to write the different names of the line. So the first is line L. Then line AD. Line AB. Line BC. Line CD. Got it? Now moving towards match the pairs. I hope you can do this. What are lines? Both are having arrows. So it is a line. Both are having dots. Points. So it is a line segment. This is a plane. Why is it a plane? Because their opposite sides will never cross. They will never intersect. They are going to go parallel. So therefore this figure is known as a plane. And this is supposed to be a ray because its one point is having a point and the second one is having arrow. Got it? Observe the following figure. Name the parallel lines, the congruent lines and the point of congruence of the figure. Now, what are parallel lines? Those which do not intersect. So, line B, line M and line Q. These are parallel lines. Congruent lines, the ones that are passing through one point. So, line A, line B and line C are congruent lines and line P and line Q are congruent lines. Then, and the points of congruence in the figure. Now, what are the points of congruence? These are the points of congruence. So, you have to write all the points of congruence that only two points are there. So point A and point D are supposed to be the point of congruence. So for point you have to write point. For segment you have to write segment. In short form you can write SEG. For line you have to write line. In the full form line segment you can write that's it. Hope you understood. If there is any queries please mention in the comment box. Thank you.